Good afternoon, everybody. Hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you today? Hi, fine, thanks. And you? Okay, are you ready for your class? Ready? Yes. Here, yeah, ready, ready. <laughs> Great. Okay, so let me share with you the class presentation. The topic we continue with Ken and Kent, and today is Wednesday, September 28, 2022. And it's our class number 15. Tomorrow is the last class. The, um, the objectives are two. One, by the end of this class, you will learn to sound natural when using can and can't. By the end of this class, you will learn how to ask and answer questions using can for ability. And in the activity one, we have recalling previous knowledge. Activity two, can and can't. Activity three, questions with can. And activity four, the wrap up, okay? Very nice. But before we start, we always need to take the attendance. So let's say present or here, okay? Don't forget to say present or here. Just give me one minute, one second, two seconds, three seconds, four seconds. <laughs> Let me see. Are you ready for your presentation of the talented person? Are you ready for that? I hope so. Okay, Victoria says, yes, teacher, I'm always ready. Let's start with the attendance. Daniel, Isaac, Quintanilla? Not in the class yet. Daniela Magali Asensio. Delmi Areli Oliva. Present. Okay. Jocelyn Gabriela Martinez Martinez. Present. Thank you. Then we have Jonathan Vladimir. Jonathan Vladimir has just connected. Okay, Jose. Jonathan Vladimir, you have to say present. Quizás tiene algún problema, Jonathan, que no nos escucha. Bueno, pero sabemos que está ahí. José Vidal Vázquez. ¿Sí me escucha? Sí, teacher. Ok, sí, Jonathan, creo que sí. Okay, Jonathan tiene problemas con la computadora. Ok, uh, José Vidal Vázquez. Present. Eh, there you go. Karen Elizabeth García. Present. Thank you, Karen. Catherine Yasmín Guatemala. No, oh, she's not in the class yet. Margarita Elizabeth, panameño. Present. Thank you, Margarita. Mayra Arely Mendes Portillo. Present. Nimian Elizabeth León de Estrada. Present. Okay, thank you, Nimian. Victoria Ingrid Leal de Contreras. Present. Jancy Melanie Montes. Present. And Jeremy Lisbeth López Ochoa. Here, present. Thank you. Again, Daniel Isabel Quintanilla. Present coach. Daniela Magalia Asensio. Present. Catrilla in Guatemala. Hello. Okay, very nice. Great. Okay, so to start today's class, we are gonna have a game. This game is about what animals i'm sorry what can animals do what can animals do 
So we are going to start with that exercise, game for you, animal abilities. So we are going to play. Only one, two. <laughs> okay. So I need a volunteer to give me one number from one to 16. Only one number. 16. Okay, Victoria, number 16. Oh, you win 10 points. But you can choose another number, Victoria. Oh, Daniela? Ah, okay, another person. Daniela? Seven. Number seven. Okay, Daniela, what can penguins do? Penguins? Can or can't? You have to complete with can or can't. Can't. Exactly. Penguins can't fly, right? They cannot fly. <laughs> it's a type of bird that can fly. Okay. Another person. Let's see. Catherine, number? Uh, three. Number three. Ooh, you lose 15 points. Okay, Nini and Elizabeth, number. One. Number one. Okay, tell me, can or can dolphins can or can't play basketball? Can. Dolphins can't. Can't. Exactly. Dolphins can't play basketball, right? <laughs> Let's see, Jocelyn Gabriela. Six. Number six. Hippos. Can play football. Okay, hippos can't play football, right? <laughs> okay. And let's see, Jancy Melanie. Nine. Number nine. Ah, what about cats? Can't. Cats can't read books. A oh, <laughs> yeah, it says here that they can, but they can't, <laughs> right? They cannot read. And actually, my cat is here just playing. Oy. Okay, now uh, let's see, Mayra de Lima in this. Eight. Number eight. What about rabbits? Rabbit can jump. They can jump, right? Rabbit can jump. Yes. Quintanilla? Danielisa Quintanilla? Hello, boss. Uh, okay. Number two. Number, please. Number two. Number two, pandas, pandas, can or can't? Panda can't, 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 negative, can't, negative, negative. <laughs> I would say that they can't. Daniela Magali. Oh, Daniela already passed, right? I'm sorry. Karen Elizabeth. Five. Number five. What about swimming? Can penguins swim? Okay. Penguins can swim. Penguins can swim. Yeah. Jeremy? What number, Jeremy? Okay, Margarita? 
10. Number 10. <laughs> I'm Choose another number. Uh, four. Number four. Okay, what about gorilla? Yes. Uh -huh. Gorilla can watch TV. <laughs> well, they don't have TV <laughs> in, the, in the jungle. That's why they can't watch TV, right? <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan, can you hear us now? Jonathan, quizás no nos escucha hoy. Hola. Okay, Jonathan, you have to choose a number, 11, 12, 13, 14, or 15. <laughs> no sé qué están haciendo porque acabo de llegar, pero 11. 11. <laughs> okay, tell us if zebras can or can't sleep. Zebras. Zebras can sleep. Okay, zebras can sleep. Who is missing? Can I have some falta? Tell me. Mm, 12. Number 12. Ah, what about riding bikes? Zebras can't ride bikes. Can or can't? Can. can. <laughs> it's negative. Zebras can't or cannot ride a bike. Okay, we have three numbers for volunteering. Volunteers. Nico. Vidal. 13, 14, or 15? 14. 13. Okay, what about whales? Can they sing? Can whales sing? Whales can't sing. Can't. can't. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> okay, Yancy says, yes, they can sing. Really? I didn't know. But they sing. Oh, okay. Interesting. Ella hacen un cierto canto en el mar para como para llamarse entre sí cuando necesitan ayuda o cuando están como felices según vi un documental wow it's very nice so whales can sing victoria 14 or 15 okay 14 sí, fish uh -huh. fish can't speak english really <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I will do the last one. What about the birds? Can or can't sing songs? What do you think? Can. Can. Yes, and they can sing beautifully. In the morning, I can hear some birds near my house singing in the morning mm -hmm. it's so uh, beautiful <laughs> okay. <so> very nice <laughs> okay good job good job guys with your with the game okay so now um we did we did that activity do you know what animals can do we already did it and yesterday we have this conversation practice. And today you have to tell me about, before we go to the uh, questions with Ken, I would like you to tell me about the talented person. Aha. Uh -huh. Talented person you know. A ver, who's going to be the first one? ¿Qué dijo, teacher? Me fui por un momento. Hey, Jeremy, se escucha muy fuerte. <laughs> Lo siento. Okay, uh, we were asking 
Uh, I was asking who is going to start telling about the uh, talented person. Um, yo, yo hice, yo hice eso, pero no sé si está bien, teacher. Uh, the person, uh, the person at admire the most is my brother. He is very hardworking and also very talented in almost very thin and is also very friendly and very good. Que me, a la persona que yo más admiro es a mi hermano porque él es muy talentoso eh, en casi todo. Él es este, muy amable y muy bueno. Okay, and what are his abilities? What can he do? Las habilidades de él. Yes. Uh, pues, ¿cómo puedo decir que él es muy bueno en lo de la electricidad? Okay, he's, he's good at electrical things. She's good with electric on, on camera. She's good at electrical things or electronic things. She good is. He, he is good. Is good. Is electric good. Okay, he's good at electronic things. Okay. Thank you, Jeremy, for your participation. Okay, thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, another person? Me, coach. Okay, Vidal. Okay. As per I can tell my famous person, his name is Andres Leo Messi. For the more of his famous play soccer to world level. Besides that, he's 25 years ago. On top of that, he's a play soccer Argentine. Moreover, he player for Football Club Barcelona in Spain. But currently is player for Paris Germain in France. He won seven ball goal. In Las Banoli, Messi is considered the star for player soccer to world level in newspaper. That's all. Good job, Vida. Good job. Congratulations for your participation. Okay. Yes. When we talk about uh, his job, we say soccer player. Primero es soccer y después es player. Soccer player. He's a famous soccer okay. player. Uh -huh. Okay, so he can play soccer very well. <laughs> Thank you, Jose. Okay, the next one is Jonathan. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to talk about a talent person. His name is LeBron James. He is 37 years old <clears throat> and lives in United States. He is a funny person. His abilities are he can jump high, he can run very fast, and he can score points when he plays. His hobbies are watching other sports on TV, like the NFL. He also likes spending time with his family. Yes. Excellent, very nice, Jonathan. Good job, congratulations. Thank you. Okay, what about the next one? Me, teacher. Okay, Mayra. I go and talk about my husband. His name is Eduardo. He's 40 years old. He's Salvadorian. He's a very kind person, funny and intelligent. He can write articles for new papers or blog sites. 
He can cook the best burger. He can do yoga and ride a bike. He's like read, run, and play with our baby. Okay, so the type of person is your husband. It's good that you admire him. <laughs> and your husband's name is the same as my husband's name. <laughs> my husband's name is Eduardo Tu, my dad. <laughs> so they are tocayos. Okay, who is next? Everybody's going to pass sooner or later. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Elmi. Today I am going to talk about my favorite Italian person is my mom. She is Norma Elizabeth. She has 45 years old. She is She is 45 years old. She is Salvadorian. She is very happy and generous. Her talent is dancing and singing. Her ability, ¿cómo sería, teacher? Mm -hmm. she Abilities. Can. She can. Uh, using the computer she and. Can use, she can use the computer. She can use the computer and being a swimmer she is very good at swimming her hobby is drinking coffee and in the afternoon and sitting down to watch tv that all thanks thank you Delmi. thank you good job Delmi. okay applauses. next please me teacher. Daniel, okay, Daniel. Yes. Uh, my favorite person is my mom. Mm -hmm. uh, you. Uh, her name. Her name is Delia. Her name is Delia. She can cook. She is an excellent cook. She can do everything. Cakes, meat, sea food, but she cannot do China China sea food. Chinese. She is an excellent swimmer. She can swim her, uh, Chinese Chinese food. Uh, swimmer volleyball. She can swing breaststroke, but she cannot swing breaststroke. She is my mom. Okay, Daniel. Thank you, Daniel, for your participation and talking about your mom. Okay, the, lo, lo que no entendí es sobre she cannot exercise. Can you repeat that part? Sí, es que tengo un poco mal el inter. Lo tengo bien entrecortado. Can you repeat that part, please? Teacher, yo también me está fallando el inter. Oh, I'm so sorry for that, but I don't know. I hope that um, it gets better. <laughs> but thank you for your participation. Okay, Jocelyn. Se observa. Tell the person Celia de Martini. Describe a talent person. Celia de Martinez person I admire is my mother. She is a teacher. From a young age, he taught me to have the study habit. She is cheerful, social, and always a bullet, available. Available, available. available to others. I admit her talent is able to teach others in the patient he has and over time he sees them a professional. Her hobbies are going dancing, cooking, and going out with her family. 
Okay, thank you. Thank you, Yosari. Very nice that you share about your mother. Very good. So she's also a teacher. <laughs> okay, um, who is next? Victoria. Voy a compartir pantalla, teacher. Ya se mira. Okay. I mira. Um, excuse me. I, I mirror my son very much. He has an um, innate talent for draw. He has never received dry, dry wing, dry wing, drawing classes. He also he has ability to make paper draw and make model. Example, uh, which house, tale of Salarue representation. Um, la técnica paper draw. Um, draw my son driving his father. Thank you. Wow, great. Your son is very talented. He can draw very well. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you, Peter. Okay, who is next? Catherine. Uh, my, my talent person is um, piano read, uh, occupation is actor, and uh, nationality Canadian, uh, age 50, 58 years old, and uh, he is one of the few actors who has spent this, his birthday hidden with a person on the street. He donates most of his money to association such as orphanage. ¿Cómo dice orfanatos? Okay. And hospitals. Uh, basic, basically, I admire him for his humanity Humility and simplicity. Simplicity. And your talents or abilities uh, and hobbies, porque no tiene muchos. His excessive fitness for speed and motorcycles. And since this hobby is hardly, you know, within the industry. Pixar wanted to count on him to give voice to one of the new toys that happened in Toy Story 4, the motorcycle dog Habon. Thank you. Thank you, Catherine. Thank you for your participation. Yes, and the pronunciation is that orphanages, orphanages. Okay, who's missing? I think that is. Daniela, Chansey. Just check. Okay, Karen. The description of my grandmother. She is 76 years old, Salvadorian, original from Chalchuapa, Santa Ana. His personality is kind, generous, conservative, and optimistic. She can cook, she can knit, she can bake a cake, and she can sell. His hobbies are listen to music, garnet, knit, and watch comedy movies. Wow, and she's 20, no, she's 77, right? 
seven yes, teacher. years old. Wow, your, your grandmother is very talented. Thank you for sharing, Karen. Okay, next person. Me, teacher. Go ahead, Margarita. In my family, I admit many of, of them, but this time I will tell you about my father. His name was Juan Pablo Panameño. My father was born on May 15, 1951. He unfortunately passed away on October 15, 2019. He was born in the in the department of Cuscatlan. He was a very intelligent person. He liked mathematics and his big hobby was spending time with his family. Okay, Thank you. Margarita. Excellent job. Thank you. Good job. And I'm so sorry that your father passed away. Okay. Thank you, teachers. <laughs> You're welcome, Margarita. Okay, we just have like one or two more students. Okay, Ninian. Um, okay. <coughs> Sorry for me. <laughs> Your dog. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, my per my talent person is Juan Daniel Mico Gonzalez. Better known as Leo Jimenez and his nickname La Bestia. Born in Funebra, Spain, on August 10th. Uh, <laughs> Seventeen. Uh, in in um, one thousand nine. 179 age 40 40 is a sink voice type line lyrical tenor and guttura a composer guitarist spine actor and producer he becomes now and famous for being the lead singer of Saratoga Singing in the general progressive metal, symphonic metal, gothic metal, heavy metal, power metal, trash metal, death metal. In his career as an artist, he was a vocalist for Crisalida, Alborde, Saratoga, Extravaganza, Supra, Science, um, Sería two thousand nine. Eso es todo. <laughs> okay, thank you, Nina. So he's a musician. Yes. A Spanish musician. Yes. Okay, and he can play rock music. Okay, <laughs> thank you, Nimia. Very nice. And uh, next person, I think, is Jancy. Melanie. Hi. My favorite text person, talent person, is Mark Anthony. Uh, your name is Marco Antonio Muniz, born September 16, 1968. Now professionally has Mark Anthony, is an American singer, actor, and producer. Anthony is also the top selling tropical salsa artist of, of all time. He is best now for his Latin salsa numbers and baladas. He has 54 age and nationally is American. Thanks. Okay, thank you, Yancy. Okay, so it's 
Marco Antonio, what is his last name? Muñiz. Muñiz, okay. Marco Antonio Muñiz, Mark Anthony. Very nice. Congratulations, everybody, for your participations in the class. There is another person who wants to participate. <laughs> okay, my cat. My cat can meow many times during the day. <laughs> and she loves to play. Okay, I just have some observations in your presentations. Uh, when you want to say the age of a person, la edad de una persona, we use the verb to be. For example, we say, my mother is 59 years old, okay? We don't say has, we say is. My mother is 59 years old. Like, I am, I am 29 years old, okay? My husband is 30 years old, okay? So we don't say has. If we say has, we are thinking in Spanish. Porque en español decimos yo tengo, él tiene, ella tiene. But in English, we use the verb to be when we say, when we say um, our age, okay? He is 23 years old, okay? Verb to be. Now, another thing that I could notice is the word admire. It's not admire, admire. I admire my brother okay i admire repeat please after me admire 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 okay. okay vidal has a question he says se puede usar el ago or years old nada más ago es cuando decimos algunos años atrás por ejemplo some years ago, like, también se puede utilizar para hace un día, hace una semana, significa hace. Por ejemplo, a week, oh, I ate pizza some days ago. Yo comí pizza algunos días atrás, hace, o hace unos días, okay. He had an accident eh, three years ago, ah, para decir hace, hace tres años. Pero para decir la edad, entonces usamos years old. Mm -hmm. He is three years old, okay. Now, another, another thing is, just let me remember, what, ah, the years, the years, para decir los años. How do you say this year, 1993? How do you say it in English? Teacher? Yes, 1923? 1993. 1993. 1993, okay. In English, we say the years, we can, we can divide into parts. 19 and 93. Okay. Lo podemos partir, ¿verdad? 1993. Para no tener que decir 1,993, that would be so long, it would be too long. So we divide, okay? Can you tell me the year you were born? ¿Me pueden decir el año en que, fue, en que nacieron? Usando así las dos partes. Lo mismo con el 2000, 2022, or 2002, or 2002. Or 2005. You can say 2005 or 2005.
porque es más corto, pero cuando hablamos de 1900 y tanto, sí es muy largo decir 1957, por ejemplo. ¿Ok? ¿Can someone tell me examples of years? O les pongo aquí algunos si ustedes me dicen. Sería, teacher, decir 1993, 1957. Delmis says 1999. Okay. 1995. Okay. Yes. Teacher, y para decir en 1993 sería in 1993. No. 1993. Yes. 1993. 1997. 1997, okay, Catherine. ¿Y cómo diríamos este año? 2022. El último que les puse. 1605. 16. 1605. Yes. The year of the independence. 18, 1821. 1821. Okay, Nina says 1987. Okay, good, good practice. Wow, it's 142. <laughs> well, now we have to continue with the topic of questions, okay? Questions with Ken. Okay, questions with can start with the auxiliary, the subject, and the verb. Example, can she is he? Yes, she can. Or, no, she can't. Can they speak English? Yes, they can. No, they can't. Can you ride a horse? Yes, I can. No, I can't. Can Paul swim? Yes, he can. No, he can't. Okay? So it's very easy. We have the auxiliary can, the subject, the verb. For yes, no questions, okay? Now, for WH questions, it's the same, but we just place the WH question word at the beginning. Then we have can, the subject, and the verb, and the complement. Example, where can I go to? You can go to a cafe outside. What can you play? I can play soccer. How can he come here? He can come here on foot. Why can't she eat and drink? Because she's fasting. Dice, ¿por qué ella no puede comer ni beber? Porque está ayunando. She's fasting. Who can eat bite? ¿A quién puede morder? It can bite the strangers. Puede morder a los extraños. Where can we visit you? You can visit. When can we visit you? You can visit us on Monday. What time can you call me? We can call you at 10 o'clock. Which cities can they go? Which cities can they go to? They can go to San Francisco or Manhattan. Okay? So I want you to ask, you can type some questions, yes, no questions or information questions in the chat. Can you give me some examples? Or you can ask the teacher. Or you can ask someone in the class. Questions with can. Just no questions? Or 
information questions with WH. I'm waiting for your examples. Espero sus ejemplos. Can we speak Spanish? And what is the answer? Yes. Oops, sorry. Yes, we can, exactly, Jonathan. Yes, coma, we can. More examples? Okay, when can you go to the supermarket? I can go to the supermarket tomorrow. When can we go dancing? Excellent, Delini. We can go today. Wow. <laughs> Let's go then. Can you eat ice cream? Yes, I can. It's delicious. It's very delicious. Can you make a cake? Can you make a cake? Who can play tennis? I cannot play tennis. Can she visit grandma? Yes, she can. Can she cook Chinese food? Yes, she can. Can you drink coffee? Yes, I can. Okay, thank you for your examples. Now, in the next activity, we you will see a picture. Very good, Maida. Who can speak English? Everyone in the class can speak English. <laughs> when can we speak English? In the class. Why can't she study? Because she's at work, okay? Okay, we have here, what can they do? We have, do you know what cartoon is this? What cartoon is this? Bob oh, Esponja. SpongeBob, SpongeBob. SpongeBob. Exactly. And we have different, uh, different uh, characters. We have, for example, Plankton, we have Mrs. Puff, we have the computer, Karen, we have Patrick, we have SpongeBob, we have Mr. Crab, we have uh, Sandy, we have Squid, we have Gary, and I don't remember in English the name of this, but it's Perlita, right? Little Fur. Now, can you tell me, you, can you make questions about, or you can tell me what they can do? What are their abilities? You can swim. They, they can swim. Mm, yeah. Okay, she is bird traps, bird traps. Bear, uh-huh. Okay. Okay. 
Um, for example, do you remember that what can a squid do? Ah, excellent, Jonathan. So Bob can cook hamburgers. Yes, Bob can make delicious hamburgers. Okay, what about a squid? Do you remember the instrument that he can play? Clarinete. Clarinete, pero saber cómo se dice en inglés. Clarinete. Clarinete. So, squid. Can. Can, can clarinet. Can play the can. Clarinet. Can play clarinet. Yes. Okay. What can you tell me about Mrs. Puff? Teach. Teacher. She is a teacher, so she can drive. 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 Teacher. Drive. Teach driving. Right? Teach driving. <laughs> yes. Okay, she can teach driving. What about Mr. Crab? Hello, is morning. He can. Hello, is morning. El ama el dinero. He can't get money. Money. He can make money or he can love. Well, he loves money, right? So he can make money. What about uh, Sandy Cheeks? The sandy chicks. Scientific. Okay. But he can do karate. Yes. Sandy. Sandy can do karate. Excellent. I see you have watched SpongeBob. And the Sandy the Squirrel can do a science experiment. Can do science experiments, exactly. Can do science, uh huh. Yes, Sandy can do some science experiments. Okay, what about Gary? Or Pear, or Patrick, or Planton, or Karen the computer? You don't remember? Gary can eat uh, its food. Okay, Gary can eat its food. <laughs> okay. Patrick is very dumb. <laughs> yes, Patrick is very dumb. But what can he do? I think he can he can catch jellyfish. He can catch jellyfish. He can be a good friend because he is a sponge's, sponge's friend, right? So he can be a good friend. And plankton, what about plankton? Plankton can't, can steal the burger formula, right? Plankton can't. Okay, steal or rob the burger formula. Okay, so that was just a re to review the use of can and can't. Now, uh, we're going to work on some exercises before we finish the class, right? Let me see the exercise. Okay, first with this one, can and can't. You have to tell me what is the correct answer. Can he play tennis? Yes, he can. A. He can. Can he play the piano? No, he, no, he can't. can't. Are you sure? Yes. No? Yes, he can. Yes, he can. Or no, he can't. No, he yes, can't. Yes, he can. Yes. Oh, it's not. No, he can. Okay. Can she sing? 
No, she can. No, she can. No, she can't. Remember that in the negative, it's important to emphasize the to make it. Yes. Can she play yes, he can't. Yes, yes, yes he can. he can't. Yes, he can't. Can't. Can he cook? No, he no, can't. He can't. No, he yeah. can't. This is Jonathan cooking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Jonathan. Just, yes, I can't. Can they play basketball? Yes, yes they, they can. can. Yes, they can. Yeah. Can. Can it fly? The pinky? No, it can. 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 Can they play hockey? Yes, yes they, they can. can. Yes, they can. Can he ride a bike? No, he no, can. he can. No, he can. Can they dance? Yes, they can. Yes, they can. Yes, they can. Okay, very nice. Now, the other exercise, true or false. Okay, we have Jack and Sally and the different things they can do. For example, we have ride a bike, play tennis, play basketball, play soccer, ride a horse, skateboard, um, uh, skate, only skate, and swim. So tell me, Jack can ride a bike, true or false? True. 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 Sally can't escape. False. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. Sally can escape. Jad can't play basketball. False. False. Uh, false. Dad can't play football. False. False. True. False. True. True. False. True. Okay. True. Sally can swim. True. 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 Sally can skateboard. True. 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 So Sally can't escape is false. False. Yeah, because she can escape. And false. false. Not true. false. Sally can ride a horse. False. 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 Jar can play. False. False. Check our answers. And that's correct. Oh. Okay, very nice, very nice. Okay, we only have two more minutes and I want you to do the wrap up. What did you learn in this class? Tell me, what did you learn in this class? And another question, can you give me examples using can and can? Okay, I learned the correct form, the, um, the numbers. Oh, yes, you learn to say the, the years, the years, and to say the age, like that. The years. Y, y no decir 1990, sino eh, dividirlo en dos. 19. 90. Okay. Exactly. Excellent, Victoria. Thank you. Okay, somebody else? Description a talent person. Okay, you learn to describe a talented, talented person. Okay? A talented person. And you spoke about different people, your father, your brother, your mother, or famous people. Okay? Can you give me examples using can and can't? I can play soccer. I can play guitar. You can play the guitar. Wow, that's nice, Jocelyn. Now, give me examples using can't. Okay. 
I, I can't, can't drive. drive. <laughs> At the same time. Okay, Mayra first and then Yancy. Mayra? I can't ride a bike. You can't ride a bike, but you can learn. Okay, Yancy? I can't drive a car. Oh, but you can also learn to drive a car. <laughs> it's not that difficult. Okay, class, this was the class for today. Tomorrow we have the last class of the module two. Um, and well, congratulations beforehand because you have almost completed the, the second course. So I hope that you are uh, doing all the, um, all the process to continue in the next module. Okay. Have a nice afternoon, please, and see you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow, you teacher. Bye. See you tomorrow, teacher. Bye. Bye. Bye.